I've been growing my nail for 24 years. I went through something when my daughter passed away in 97. She did, I don't know who did my nails. She parted them and found them for me. And when I got up to go make groceries, I woke up and I told my kids, y'all get up and clean up. At the store, my baby daughter called me and told me, Ma, Tisha won't wake up. I said, no, nah, tell her get up and y'all clean up. And she said, no, nah, Ma, she won't wake up. Mama, I think she did. And she was 16, my daughter who found her was 15. She had died of an asthma attack in her sleep. That was the worst day of my life. When I made it home, she was dead. And so, when it happened, she did my nails that night before. We was up all night. So I just couldn't, can't, couldn't cut my nails off after that. My kids say, Ma, you need to cut your nails. I tell them, man, you busy. But what it was, they never knew why I was growing up because I hadn't told nobody. I always kept it to myself until I finally told them why I was growing up. And they was like, why you tell us that? And when she told us the backstory because of my sister, it kind of changed my feelings towards it because just as much as she missed my sister, I miss her too. So if that's her way of holding on to her, then I accept. This is just a part of me because of my daughter, the dad. And I always kept her close to me this way. They definitely are a living memorial, so yeah. I found myself, I couldn't even come out the house for like 10 years because I was so depressed. But you know, I wouldn't go get help. Because it was, it's just so much. Well, growing up, what my mom used to always do, she was a stylist. Everybody loved her. She just used to always do everyone hair and stuff. She used to be a stylist till we moved up here and then she ended up working. And once my sister passed away, a few years after we moved up here, my mom, after that, just took off with growing her nails and stuff. And she became a stay-at-home mom, so. People would tell me, you know, you can get in this big record. I said, no. I never scribed to be that. I was just growing my nails because of what I went through. It always just been a thing that everybody always spoken about and always wanted to just, you know, just encourage her to do it. A young lady called me and, and mentioned it to me. I said, no, nah, I'm thinking it was a joke. And so when she called me, I thought about it, I hung up. And, you know, cause I thought somebody was trying to be funny. But then she called back and I said, well, you gotta talk to my daughter. And I left it at that. But I really did thought that was a joke. And uh, Diana Armstrong, congratulations. You are officially amazing. Oh. When we learned today that my mother had the Guinness Real Record title, I was in complete shock and emotional. <laughs> I was happy. <laughs> When you, when you had me that black, I thought of my daughter. And, and then I think about my kids. It's just something I never thought that I, that I wouldn't do. I, well, I thought I couldn't do it. It because I didn't want people to judge me. So that's the reason why I never thought about it. But when it happened, it was like so, oh my God. Cause it was just a experience that I would never thought I ever experienced cause I was so closed off in my own world. My mother nails are 
42 feet and 10 inches long. Well, I haven't been to a nail salon about 22 years. But when they see me coming, they're like, oh no. So who does your nails? My grandkids. My family love her nails. They just love her nails. <laughs> it's just, like they like pay extra attention to her and they just think she like special. Well, my grandkids come over and do my nail. One nail took four to five hours and I go through about 15 to 20 bottles of nail polish. It started off with uh, my two nieces and then once I end up having my daughter, and when she got to a certain age, she just kind of joined the crowd because she loved playing the fingernail polish. So it was like right up her alley. <laughs> yeah, me four or five years, I get them done after that. Now these, I won't get them done no more. Last time I painted my nail was this week, and it took four days. <laughs> Living with my mom, <laughs> at first it wasn't difficult, but the longer they have gotten within the past few years, it became extremely difficult because now we have to be extra careful and we always dodging around her so she won't hit us in the face or something or we won't trip over her nails. I use my feet if I have to pick up clothes off the floor. I can even use my feet to open the refrigerator. I can use it to open the oven, but I want to use it to cook with them. <laughs> if I have to pick money off the floor, I can pick up like bills, but if I drop change on the floor, that'll just stay down there. I can pick that up. You know, when I go in public, people will stare. Or they ask, sometimes they will come up to me and ask, can they take a picture? I didn't used to let nobody take a picture, but now if they ask me, I let them take a picture. But to me, I think my nails are pretty. But to someone else, they might not be. But they is to me. Um, I don't think my mom would ever trim her nails. I don't think is I don't think she's gonna ever make that decision to do that because if she was she would have been dead it. You know I don't think I ever cut my nails. If someone come to me and give me a hundred thousand dollars to cut my nails, I wouldn't cut my nails because my nails is so much of a part of me. You know what? Every time I look at my nails, I think of my daughter. But I think I think even if I'm like down and I. Cause to me, I think she my God and angel. And I just think of her. And so I think that she'll be proud of me because she's the last one did my nails. And that's who I think of when I grow my nails, is my daughter. My family is gonna be extremely happy to know that my mom got the Guinness Real Record title for the longest nails on a pair of hands. And I just want to say, Mom, that I love you. Congratulations. 42 feet and 10 inches long, and you well deserve it, and you've been patient for it. So, congratulations. 